Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Solar flare could destroy technology in within a hundred years. <gasps> could you possibly imagine a scenario where some of the biggest threats faced by humanity in the next 100 years come from our own sun in the sky, not your children? So a solar flare struck Earth 150 years ago, and if one of that magnitude struck Earth again now, boom, goodbye everything. Goodbye satellites, goodbye the internet, goodbye electrical grids, welcome back to the Stone Age people. Well, maybe like medieval age, I think Stone Age would be extreme. <gasps> so there's a study done by Abby Loeb and Manasi Lingham at Harvard University looking at this exact thing. Looks like there could be another solar flare of that magnitude within the next 100 years. So they found that on stars like our sun, they happen about ooh, every 20 million years. So the UV radiation and high energy charged particles could end up destroying our ozone layer, could end up causing mutations in DNA and completely disrupting ecosystems. We're pretty stuffed if that happens, pretty stuffed. A similar, so smaller version of this happened in 1859 where it knocked out all of the telegraph systems in the Western world, which, you know, at the time was a big thing, but nowhere near as big as it would be for us now. And some of those telegraph operators were given a shock due to this huge surge of electricity passing through the wires. But like I say, there wasn't much technology back then, so it didn't really, it wasn't really as bad as it would be now. But if it does happen now, then you're looking at trillions, probably more than trillions, trillions and trillions and trillions worth of damage. Pounds, dollars, whatever you want really, it's not gonna make much difference. A lot of money. But their, their main prediction is only about a 12% chance it's gonna happen in the next decade. Only 12%, that's not much at all, it's fine, isn't it? 12%. So there is a way to save us. You put a huge wire, goes up all around the earth, and it acts like a magnetic shield deflecting away all of these flare particles and these charged particles. The only problem is it costs about 100 billion to do. Is it worth spending 100 billion for a 12% chance? I mean, really, it's probably not the best use of the money with the amount of risk that you'd have to take. So that is, so solar flare could destroy tech in 100 years. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye. <laughs>